Okay, recording. So just to recap, we're here with Lacey Woodard from Lulu's Craft Boutique talking about her business and what it's like running a business as a military spouse. So Lacey, tell us a little bit about your family. So um, I live at Fort Riley with my husband. My husband is um, active duty military. Um, he's an Apache mechanic, so he works on the helicopters um, in the aviation units and everything. Um, and we're originally from Texas, Lone Star State. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> we're from Texas too, so. And so, oh, okay, Woo. cool. <laughs> you know, people from Texas are always really proud that they're from Texas. So, I mean, yeah. we just, I just had to put that in there. Absolutely. Um, I got my, I have a degree. I got my degree in sociology back in 2017 from the University of Texas. So big Longhorn fan. So we're, me and my husband are really into sports. We like to hang out and just be together. We have two dogs. Um, I have a lab mix named Dax and a St. Bernard Great Pyrenees mix named Chief. And we don't have any kids yet. So those are my kids. They're my babies. <laughs> So yeah, that's a little bit about me. Oh, I'm 25. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but. <laughs> you want to share? Sure. Um, and to be clear, Lacey's in the car, but not driving. So we're all safe. No, I'm not driving. <laughs> we're all I promise. Good. <laughs> um, I didn't want my dogs barking in the background. It would have been very right? loud. He barks at everything. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So how long have you been a military spouse? So my husband joined February of last year. So I've only been, I'm, oh. I'm very fresh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very new to this life. Um, nice. My husband joined in February. So I've been a military spouse a little over a year. Okay. So you guys were already married when he joined? Yeah. So we've been together since 2016. Um, and we got okay. married. So we got together 2016, engaged 2017, Planned for a big wedding in 20, this past 2019, right. um, but then he decided to join the military, so we had to kind of move up our wedding date and everything, so we ended up getting married sure. in 2018, and then having our big wedding cool. last year, so. Okay, cool. It's wow. been, yeah, <laughs> it's, been been, interesting. it's been a crazy few years. <laughs> yeah, so this is your first duty station then? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. You got a tissue. Okay. Um, did you run your craft business before you guys um, came here? No, actually, I just, it's crazy how quickly, how quickly social media influences business and incorporates small business and just really helps people build a lifestyle for themselves. Because I actually just started my business back in, at the beginning of April. Oh, awesome. So I wow. haven't even, yeah, I haven't been doing it very long, but I, it, it's really kind of just blown up. I never expected it to blow up as quickly as it did. Nice. Yeah. You've got a lot of pictures. It looks like you've done a lot. Yeah. I'm, nice. I consistently have orders coming in and I just recently got a heat press. So I started incorporating more shirts and nice. onesies and everything yeah. like that. So I'm kind of expanding a little bit and it's pretty cool. It's Great. really fun to be able to make stuff for people. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, well, tell us a little bit more details about what all you do in your business. So it's a craft business. Yes. Um, and I know you make signs because you made me some really awesome signs, and those pictures yeah. are in the event for this. Um, and I'll put them in the comments later as well. But mm -hmm. what else do you do? So it started out as just a little hobby. It started out as me making um, a personalized door hanging sign for myself. Mm -hmm. Um, I made it with our last name, our established year. Like I didn't really think anything of it. Yeah. And then I posted a picture of it and I had so many people messaging me and texting me like, your sign is so cute. How did you make it? Like blah, 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 blah. Right. I had so many, my neighbors were asking me if they could, if I could make them one. And it was so easy that I was like, why not? Right. So I made a couple they all loved it. We're sharing it with their friends. Their friends started reaching out to me and asking me about everything. So it started off with just personalized. It was almost an accident. 
yeah, it was, yeah. it just kind of like fell in my lap. I didn't That's really awesome. like. That was the best was, kind. <laughs> yeah, it was very easy. I'd actually just lost my job due okay. to COVID. Oh, wow. And mm -hmm, I was working at uh, the Manhattans. I was working in the Manhattan schools. Oh, okay. So I was working in the school district. And when they shut the school down, I was out of a job. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah. I was looking for any way to try to make a little <laughs> bit of extra cash, honestly. And then this just kind of fell in my lap. So I was like, let's run wow. with it. Why That's not? Great. Yeah. So yeah. it started out with the door hanging signs, um, just simple design. Uh -huh. um, and then I started incorporating different styles, more generic signs, home sweet home, welcome, hi, like stuff that's not necessarily personalized because some people don't like to let right. people know that they live there. So, right. <laughs> so started incorporating more of those. And then now that I've gotten the heat press, I'm incorporating more um, shirts and uh -huh. onesies and car decals. Okay. Um, so it started out with the wood working a little bit mm -hmm. and then kind of fell into more decals and shirts and stuff like that. So it's kind of just your one-stop shop for anything crafty. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And then, so you did custom work for me. So what I did was I sent Lacey a picture that I got from a different realtor and said, I like these signs. Can you make them? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, let me play around with this for a little bit. And so she was able to cut out the shape I asked for and the size I asked for and everything and, and kind of recreate that for me. So um, do you do, I mean, regularly, do you, are you open for custom work? I mean, I just yes. kind of asked and sent yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm um, actually working on a couple different custom pieces right now. Um, some bigger pieces. Uh, a lot of people recently have been ordering, you know, certain signs that go in their living rooms or right. above the bed. Like, you know how people like to have uh -huh. big signs above their beds. Mm -hmm. um, so much bigger bigger signs and actually I've just recently start well not recently but whenever all of the quarantine and everything started happening my right. resources deplenished a lot sure and I couldn't go and just buy big signs and put vinyl on it anymore I had to right. start actually making my own frames and making my own custom signs right. um and it made it a little bit more difficult but it's definitely a lot more rewarding and it's a lot more fun to be yeah. able to actually like fully make a frame and stuff like that so with with making my own signs and everything I can definitely it, it's definitely much more customizable that way right so right. I wouldn't say that when I started out I was extremely personalized and customizable yeah um but it's definitely grown into something that I've really enjoyed creating yeah. more unique, unique signs and everything like that. So it's been really fun. Awesome. That's great. Um, yeah. So that's great. Um, let's see. Some of these you've kind of already answered. So I'm just oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, and then I'm trying to, you know, so, so do you do mail order? You haven't moved yet, but eventually you guys will move. So yes. kind of what's your, thought on how you'll transition this business when you move so you that I don't, <laughs> yeah well honestly since we're fairly new so I haven't thought about moving very much but I do have a bunch of fan like I like I said before I'm from Texas so right. I have a bunch of family that have already ordered from me friends that have ordered from me family in a bunch of different places all throughout the country that have shared my page and had their friends order from me so I've already started shipping Okay. nationwide so you have you, know, the, you have the system down for shipping so yeah we'll yeah I already continue. have that already worked out with yeah. pricing and weights and how like I've worked through things with the post office and how to figure I've figured out a bunch with yeah. figuring out how to ship and everything like that so that's not something I've really had to worry about because it's something I've kind of done from the beginning and I've already worked out those kinks right so it's just all about me building my clientele here. And then whenever we do end up going to a new duty station, I can still have those, you know, customers right. and everything that are really loyal and just really enjoy the work that I do that will still continue to order from me, which is really nice. Right. And then it'll give you a new market to also start building mm -hmm. more. That's awesome. Exactly. 
Um, well, again, knowing that you are, this is fairly new, kind of fell in your lap. You're learning as you go, it sounds like, but it sounds like mm -hmm. you're doing well. Um, what yeah. would you tell another spouse um, who is considering starting their own small business, whether or not it's craft related or whatever? Like what, have, what has been the big ahas or the big lessons you have learned um, from kind of transitioning this from a hobby to a business? Just do it. I know that sounds so, that sounds so cliche. It sounds so dreamer, I guess, but <laughs> at the same time, it, I was so nervous and I expressed my apprehension in starting something like this to my husband, to my friends, to my family. And I just talked to everybody about it because it was just, it was never something, it was always something that was always very fun for me. I always enjoyed crafting and making my own things, but I never... Yeah actually thought that anybody would want to buy something that I made like that was crazy to right. me that didn't even it didn't even process that I, that people actually want to hang stuff up in their homes right that I made like that's that's still crazy to me yeah I mean, and if I think having a, a good support system behind you as well yeah. having loyal friends and family to that just want you to succeed that just want to see you do well, whether it's crafting or just anything in life, just having a good support system helps a lot. Sure. It helps sure. a lot. And honestly, that, that's the best that I, advice that I can give anybody is just to just go for it because you never know what could happen until you actually try. Yeah, that makes sense. And it um, all just kind of, like I said, it all just kind of blew up it I ne once again I never expected anybody to actually want to buy something that I made and yet here we are <laughs> yeah and it's awesome um mm -hmm. do you anticipate going back into the schools in the fall in addition to carrying on your business I'm are still in the process of, I have I'm still in the process of deciding okay. um I was working in Manhattan and honestly mm -hmm. with uh, unfortunately, the financial responsibility and the financial aspect of it just, it's really tough. Sure. Working for the schools. I mean, any teachers that are watching, anybody that works in the school district knows that teachers don't get paid near enough. <laughs> and. Ah. Hang on, you froze <laughs> a little bit. Okay, there we are. Teachers don't get oh. paid near enough. Yeah. Yeah. P teachers don't get paid. Oh. What's going what on? What they deserve at all. You're froze. Hang on. Oh, You're shaking your head. <laughs> I was like, are we back? What's going on? <laughs> I think we were on Facebook all this time too. <laughs> oh no. So no. I'm sitting here like, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh Oh no. Oh, now it has me disappearing on Facebook. Okay. Well, we're back. Sorry. A little glitch there. <laughs> it um, happens. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but it picked up right where it left off. So, okay. Okay. So um, let's see. Are we still recording? Yes, we are. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um awesome but you're going to continue on with this offering these services yeah definitely it, even if it is something that I just end up kind of cutting back and doing on the side I definitely still want to continue sure. making things just because it, it it is kind of an outlet for me you yeah. know even though it's it's become more of a permanent job right now right it's still an outlet for me to get away from my husband when he's getting on my nerves and <laughs> my dogs when they're getting on my nerves. Right. Yeah. I just have my own little space to just go and sit and do something that I actually really enjoy doing. Yeah. And it, it feels good because I don't feel like a lot of people really get to say that. And yeah. that actually feeling pretty fulfilled is, is really nice. I mean, you're doing something you love and getting paid for it. That's a dream, right? <laughs> right? Living That's the dream. <laughs> Um, cool. Is there anything else you want to share with our audience? So, you know, we're stream streaming live and PCS pay it forward right now. 
Um, anything else you would, so we've got a group of military spouses, some live here, some are moving here. Anything else that just comes to mind that you'd like to share with them about your business, about anything that? <laughs> um, if anything, I would just say, like I said before, just if you have an idea, if you have a dream, just go for it. That's literally the best advice I could give anybody is just because you, like I said, you never know Absolutely. what kind of opportunities are going to fall into your lap until you actually try. And I've had a bunch of opportunities come from me making things, <laughs> yeah. you know, like I've had realtors reach <laughs> out to me asking to make continuous continuous customers that make signs and stuff like that. And for people to sit and just make me feel good to know that I am doing something that they genuinely love. I'm yeah. making something for people. It's more personal sure. and knowing that I have my own little place in so many different people's homes is just very rewarding and it's very nice. And I really enjoy what I do. And had I not taken the plunge, had I not just dove in head first, I wouldn't have never had that opportunity. I wouldn't have had many opportunities that have been offered to me. And that's the best thing that I could say to anybody is just do it. Yeah. And the best time to start is now, right? <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Whenever now. everybody's, everybody's, I feel like since all the big shops are closing and everything, small businesses have really taken a hit, but they've also, I've, I've seen, especially in the military community, I've seen such an uproar in people supporting smaller businesses and supporting each other, yeah. which as a military spouse is tough sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we all know, we all move, we all have to change jobs. We all, um, mm -hmm. I mean, you lost your job because of COVID, but eventually you would have moved and you would have had to get Anyways. Job and you would have had to go into the job search again mm -hmm. um, and figure out your place in the new state. Um, exactly. Face that. And while you still have to change things when you move your business, at yeah. least you stay in the same. You, and I can take it with me. <laughs> Exactly. I can take it all with me. I can yeah. take my ideas I mean, I mean, and my designs you know and everything. Right. It happened by accident the first time, but you can repeat that. You can just, oh, yeah. you can 100%. just go through that process. And this is all trial and error right now. Like sure. I'm still in the trial and error period. Yeah. So I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still growing as a person, as a business owner, because this is the first real business endeavor that I've ever yeah. gone about by myself that I've actually made something of yes. and it, it's not easy it's not right. easy because you're having not only you're the CEO you're the treasurer you're the yes. <laughs> like it, it's all it's yeah. all me you're you're the, you're the receptionist you're, <laughs> the receptionist. you're, <laughs> you're every step you're, of the business yeah. is right here <laughs> So right. having to deal with all of that is, it's a lot, but it's so rewarding and it's so fun. Yeah. And it sounds like another tip you might give, um, you've said it, but you didn't put in these words was don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just do so. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. You mess up, you mess up, try again. Um, I know that. Oh yeah. At this point, at this point, my sign, which was my first sign that I ever made is my least favorite of the, all of the ones that I made. And it's mine. Yeah. Yeah. Because mine had, mine had really, truly all the trial and error since it was the right. very first one that I made. So it's, I love my sign. Don't get me it's wrong. Just because it is. It's, it's the one everybody wanted you to get copy. For oh that. yeah, so. exactly. Like it, it's my least favorite now because I've grown so much, right. you know, like my designs and stuff have grown so much, but at the same time, it holds a special place in my heart because it started all of this. Right. Right. It's what kind of laid the foundation and what got people interested in the first place. And that means yeah. everything that yeah. truly means everything. And you'll always look at that one and see where you've come from. Like this is how, yeah. even though it was still awesome, obviously, because other people were like, Hey, I want one. So well, thank you. <laughs> but you can look and go, but I am so much, you know, I've grown so much since then I've learned so much. So that'll be, it'll be oh, like, yeah. it's like the first dollar people put up, you know, in restaurants and things. It's that's true. exactly what it's like. And that's yeah. like that exact same feeling of like, I did that. Like, yeah, I did that. I and did. people it's actually true. wanted it. Like, that's, yep. That's crazy. And yeah. the only place, the only way that I can go in any small business right now, any, the only place that they can go is up. Yeah. 
because uh -huh. like I said, a lot of small businesses have suffered doing with all of the pandemic and everything that's going on. There's so much negativity and there's so much sadness and right. anger and fear going on right now that now is the best time yeah. to do something for you, to do something for yourself, yeah. not just for the money, to do something that you enjoy doing just because you enjoy to do it. Right. And you said this is fulfilling to you, even without, I mean, obviously the financial aspect is great and you got to pay for materials, but even without this, it's something that you find fulfilling. And Definitely. Sorry it's something that, <laughs> it's definitely something that I enjoy doing and I know it, it sounds cliche but whenever you're doing something you actually enjoy not that I didn't enjoy working at the schools sure. I loved my kids I loved working with sure. my kids but doing something building something from the ground up just yes. means a lot and oh, yeah. it knowing that I've worked so hard even just in the past few months and just see where I was at to where I am now is just, it's extremely rewarding. And it, it, it gives me so much confidence in myself and my business because it, it's allowed me to grow as a person. Yeah. And it's allowed me to grow, like I said, just the business in and of itself. Right. And that, it, that is super rewarding to sit and think like, wow, I did that. Yeah. It's and kind of, I, trust me, if I can do it, anybody can. Like that sounds like, <laughs> Once again, I'm being so cliche, but it's, it's yeah. so true. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good way to look at it. Like, why not you? Mm -hmm. if somebody else could. Exactly. I mean, I think you're awesome. I mean, you know, I sing your praises. I love my signs. I think they're great. I don't even have them yet, but I love them. <laughs> I'm they're so, so cute. I'm actually super, super proud of them. Really I'm very proud of them. I tried some new techniques with yours and everything. So, and yeah. it's actually translated into other signs that people are like, I want that. And I'm like, that's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. No, for those watching, I sent her a picture of these signs and nothing against the original sign maker. I don't even know who made the original signs <laughs> or something. And so I had asked her where she got her signs. And then I was like, I know somebody who makes signs. I bet she could do it. So I sent her a picture and I think that the signs Lacey made are better than the originals. Well, she asked me if I could, <laughs> that's right. She asked me if she could take some creative license and she said, do they have to be identical or can I, can I do a little thing different? And I said, you go with it. I want the general idea, this, you know, the wording pretty much the same and stuff. But if you think you can make it better, by all means, go for it. <laughs> um, I do a lot of crafty things, but I haven't really done any, like the vinyl or anything. My mom bought a, um, a silhouette and parked it at my house, but neither of us have actually like taken it out and looked at it yet. That was, <laughs> that was like a year and a half ago. Uh huh. So this is not my forte whatsoever. So I was like, you go for it. And she sent me the picture and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so much better than I even like had in mind. Or I think it's better than the original. Um, well, thank you so yeah. much. I'm uh, like I said, I'm super, super proud of those. And it's actually really funny because I got my, my mom got me my cameo, my silhouette for Christmas. Yeah. And I didn't even open it until April because I was like, I don't know how to work it. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how to use this thing. And I don't feel like sitting down and watching videos. <laughs> <laughs> and so finally, my mom was like, if you don't use it, send it back to me. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll use it. And then now here we are. <laughs> and then here we are, yeah. And like I said, I could pull it out and I could figure, I mean, I could probably sit down and figure out, but why, why should I spend the time if I can support a fellow military spouse and you can do it for me? <laughs> That's <Preach> right. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's important that we support each other. I think it's important that as military spouses, we support each other as much as we can all the time. So now that we're all, you know, in this crazy time. Um, so if you guys need a sign or a shirt or a cute personalized onesie, or I don't know what else, what else you got? I do card like, towels, tumblers and stuff, books, right? Water bottles. Yeah. Yep. Card pretty much towels. anything that you, pretty much anything that you want, I can make. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, so if you're looking for something made. I'm actually about to add a brand new product that I guess I'll sneak peek here. I'm really excited. I'm about to start adding um, car freshies to my repertoire. Car freshies, like air fresheners? Yeah. So, yep, so here, I actually have one right here. Exclusive sneak peek. Right this, here. right, this is not my design. I, I bought this one from a fellow military okay. spouse, so this is not my design. Okay. But 
these oh. little air fresheners, the melted oh. beads. Oh, wow. This one's in the shape of Texas, because once again, all Texas yeah. are from, from Texas. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, That's so fun. I'm about to dive headfirst into these and add these to my list of stuff that I'm going to be making as well. So I'm really excited That's to start making fun. these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So how do we contact you? If somebody has an idea um, or they want, you know, a sign like one you've already done, if they have an idea they want you to try to create, how do they get in touch with you? What's the best way? Facebook. Okay. So I run my business pretty much strictly off of Facebook. Okay. Um, my Facebook handle is Lulu's Craft Boutique. Okay. Plain and simple. Um, <laughs> Now, a lot of things come up when you start typing Lulu's Craft into Facebook. So you got to type the whole thing, Lulu's Craft Boutique. Yes. Um, I've got, I've got Lulu. So in the blurb about this video, I have Lulu's Craft Boutique tagged. So you can get there straight from that. So make sure you guys like her and give her some love. Even if you don't have anything you need right now, go ahead and go like need something lighter. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead and like that page so that later when you think of something that you need, you can find it. Um, and then I also have you tagged on the little blurb about this video. So I've got Lacey awesome. there, so you can message her. And I've got her Facebook page, so you can go like that. You can message the page, too. So yep, that's, how, that's how we're placing orders right now. So awesome. that'll, that's there. the best way to, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you want something made that I haven't made yet, and you have any questions about it, just message me on my Facebook page and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Yeah, and Father's Day is coming. So what have you got going yes. on what are you making for Father's Day? So I've actually already got a few different orders for Father's Day. Um, a bunch of people have wanted some shirts. Yeah. I feel like that's pretty typical. One that I'm actually very excited about is I've seen these cute wooden signs that say um, like hooked on daddy or hooked on papa. Oh whatever like hooked on whatever father they father figure they want to yeah on, I guess and um <laughs> and it includes like a picture and a cute little lure and some fish yeah. and it's a very cute more masculine design that I'm, I'm very excited yeah. right yeah, cool. <laughs> that I'm very excited to to do I have a I have a few different orders for those signs and I'm really excited those are some that I'm really excited to make Cool. So if you want something for Father's Day, you should probably talk to her soon, like today, yep. and get yep. it in there before she fills up. As uh, soon as possible. <laughs> yes, because yes, we only have a couple weeks there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you got a Father's Day order or something in your head, talk to Lacey ASAP and get that on her to-do list. Um, yep. But yeah, so anything else, like I said, I went through Facebook, I sent her pictures, and we did everything through Facebook, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I said, if you, if you see a picture of something that you like, if anybody sees a picture that of something that they like, I am pretty flexible with stuff that I can do. Um, just send me a message and ask me and I'll see what I can do. It may not be the exact same thing, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I think that's all I've got, but I really appreciate you jumping on here and letting me interview you and talking to our group about what you do and sharing your business. Awesome. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. And it really means a lot to me that you're interviewing small business owners and doing this and getting other people's names out there. That's, that's amazing. It's Thank amazing you. what you're doing and I really appreciate it. Thank you. I hope that it helps all of us in the whole community in a multitude of ways. I hope, like you said earlier, that opportunities have come your way that you didn't even expect. So I hope this is another, I hope this is another way that opportunities can come everybody's way that we don't expect. So, 100%. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And as she mentioned, this is something I'm doing. So every Friday we have a different small business military spouse. So a military spouse who owns her own small business um, lined up to interview at usually at this time. I think I've got a couple that are going to be in the afternoons on Fridays, but usually at this time. So um, yeah, that's something everybody, you know, can tune into if you can. It'll be recorded in the group later if you can't, but we'll be watching for questions. We didn't get any questions today, but um, we'll always be watching for questions so we can answer any live if they come up. Of course, you can also ask questions in the comments after this video and Lacey or I will answer them. We'll make sure we get an answer to you if you comment on it later. So 
Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you so much. You too. All Bye. Right. Bye.